Yeah. Wow. So he, he, comes, would have, he would have stayed here, perhaps in this room? He, he must have done. He must have done because he, he, he's, he's, um, he comes into this um, area. Uh, again, he's only in visitation. He is not grounded. What right. year would he have come visiting here? Oh, gosh. Or what era? What, what sort of time period? Something eight, you know, bef the, uh, before the ten ninth and 10th century. The eighth something goes. This goes way back here. And is anybody active in this room? I know you say people come and, and visit, yeah. but is there anybody? I can tell you, I'm aware of um, at least four little ch children, right, um, who didn't lose their lives in a bad way. Four beautiful little children, mm -hmm. and their laughter should be heard throughout this castle. However, their laughter will be heard, but then in different parts of this castle, it's the opposite. Hmm. I hear screaming, I hear screeching. Of and children or? Yes. Right. And adults. Ooh. Okay. You see, around this room now, I'm getting this um, feeling of um, satanic. It's a... It's the whole round level of evil that this soul has delved in. Experimental, doing things, cutting body parts. Do you have a name with this person? I hope to get this before this tonight's yeah. through, OK? At a yeah. time when this would have happened. I feel again we're, we're linked around in 1500s, around that area. Mm -hmm. And um, a stench. His evil stench is still here in this castle. He got his just rewards in the end. Mm -hmm. Here? Hamster. Did he die here? Did he die here? In this castle? No, he didn't. He was taken away and he was strung by the neck. So exactly who is this evil entity? As the Most Haunted team prepare for their own crusade, what other secrets will be revealed at Craigievar Castle? Nestled at the foot of the Grampian Mountains lies Craigievar Castle. This location has seen many residents over its rich and varied 380-year history. But how many of these residents hold a dark secret? We intended to find out as the Most Haunted crew descended into the castle's dungeon area. OK. Now... As we're down in this area now, to all intents and purposes, I suppose, you know, you could think, well, what is it? Is it a cellar? What is it? But it's not. This was a torture chamber. They he took life after life. He strung them up and he ripped their bodies apart. And they're screaming. And they're screaming, mercy, mercy. This is not the floor. This is not the floor. All right. It's not the floor where the blood used to go. This has been replaced. He was very crafty. When he was doing these things, these windows, he would look to see if any movement, anyone was coming. And when he, he realised that it, there was no one round, he'd do these despicable things. When, when this, this man was doing this, did he have a family here with him? Or was he just living here on his own? Because it strikes me as if a man is doing this... No, I feel he, he... He would have to be on his own. Yes. I don't feel that he had what we call um, strong family commitments. Mm. Um, I feel that he was a... Well, his soul, the way he is, is a, a solitary. And the more he went on and did what he was doing, the more he becomes solitary. Mm. He becomes so um, into the dark satanic things that he thought it was he gained power by every life that he took even though we're down here and you're still getting all this dark stuff are you still getting the laughing children are you getting the laughing children are people? not down here 
Right. No way. They okay. would, they, those spirit uh, children would not come down here. They'd have no reason to come down. They're not part and parcel mm. of that negative history. Mm. They, they come much later mm. in time. And they were part of a family that were very happy here. Mm. Happy or not, Craigievar Castle does seem to harbour a myriad of dark secrets. But would any of these secrets be brought into the light as we entered darkness and switched our cameras to night vision? David Wells joined the crew as we made our way towards the ladies' withdrawing room. The first thing I'm aware of in here is a woman. Now, she's naked and she's been caught doing the deed, doing the business. She's been caught having sex. Um, and that, that's the very first impression here is a woman shrieking and she's covering her bosoms, uh, bits. Yeah. And she's running around. Um, <clears throat> Who's caught her? Is that coming through? It's like the door slams open and it's... It, it, the, word, the word that my guide has given me is family. So I don't know if it's a whole lot of them or... So I was expecting husband, because you would. Yeah. And the impression I get in here is, is someone being thrown out of a window. Um, Not the woman, is this somebody else? Yes. Of, well, this, no, this is involved in this situation. It may be the man involved in this situation thrown out of a window, because I'm trying to move the story on and I can see her crying. I can't, there is no presence of him. You mean the lover? Yes. Right. There is no, you know, because because she's so dominant, I'm trying to get to him as well because you know you would imagine if she's dominant, he would be. And to be honest, I can't pick up on him at all. Right. And that, that's me being honest. I can't get him at all. I can get her, but not him, which would suggest to me. And this is only my suggestion because I can't see him being thrown out of a window. Right. Um, who would have Who would have done that then? The family. Her father or, or her right. brothers, yeah. males in the family. There was no yeah. women here, yeah. males in the family. But w the words they're putting into my head is the Campbells and the McDonald's. Now, I'm not suggesting for one second this is because this is not Campbell and McDonald territory, even I know that. Mm -hmm. But that says clan war again to me. It says clan war, you know. I'm not suggesting it's that, those two clans. I'm saying it's two opposing factions. Okay. What, what did she die of? You, can you tell that? I don't think she died here. They may be wrong. I'm just trying to find. Mm. I'm just trying to move it on. Any name with her? Is it coming through? The name I'm getting is like Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Sounds like Elizabeth, Liz, Liz, that kind of name. I, I am getting lots of blood around her. I can sense blood on her and around her. So I'm suggest. I'm thinking she didn't meet a particularly natural death. She was murdered. She didn't die in her sleep. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you think because of the, what she'd done? By the other clan, exactly. That's just what they're saying. It's, you know, um, the, the old saying, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. So one goes, one goes. And that's how it would probably have been, I, I would think. This sad story with echoes of Romeo and Juliet appears to have had an inevitable and bloody end. But could this evil act have been the catalyst of a clan war? After all, these Scottish Highlands are rife with rich reports of simmering and often fatal family feuds. Tradition also strongly states that this very room witnessed Sir John Forbes force a member of the opposing Gordon clan out of a window, where he fell to a rapid death. Just maybe we'll find out more as we tentatively entered the tank room. Is she here? I have more of a sense of her sort of here. It doesn't, she's not like she's squeezed into that little space. Um, Speak out how you're hearing it. She's, she's talking in a very strong Scottish accent, which I won't do because it is very strong. Do it. No, um, I want to hear what you're hearing. Well, she's saying things like, um, it, there's never a man, there's never a man I'll trust again. My father, which is father, mm. uh, my father was as bad as the rest of them. And my mother, mother mm. did nothing to help me.